to capacity, close to 11,000 on hand. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Bernie Pacheco, were getting set for this battle between two natives of Puerto Rico. Juan Laporte defending his WBC featherweight title against Wilfredo Gomez, the one-time super bantamweight champion. And for Laporte, it's the third defense of his title after winning the championship in September of 1982. Laporte did have an earlier title shot back in December of 80, but he lost the 15-round decision to the late champion, Salvatore Sanchez. August of 81, it was Laporte coming up with a stunning second-round knockout of Rocky Lockridge. Here it is all over, round two. Juan went on to beat Mario Miranda to win the title, then successfully defended against Ruben Castillo last February in San Juan. Four months later, again, San Juan in a difficult fight. Laporte did win a split decision over Johnny De La Rosa, again defending his championship. But last November, in a surprise, in a non-title bout, he lost a 10-round decision to Gerald Hayes, a loss that had boxing people puzzled. But Laporte says his mind wasn't on that fight. He was looking ahead to Wilfredo Gomez. Gomez, the 27-year-old from San Jose, Puerto Rico, a record of 40 wins, one loss, one draw, and all 40 wins by knockout. The one-time Super Bantamweight champ successfully defended his title 17 times, including some devastating performances, as Derek Holmes can attest to, stopped in round five and had his jaw broken in the process. December 1982, in New Orleans, Luffy Pintor stopped in the 14th round with Gomez continuing his amazing knockout string. The only loss on the record of Gomez fighting for the featherweight title. He was knocked out by Salvador Sanchez in August of 81. Since then, he's won eight bouts all by knockout and feels he's ready to step up and wait against Juan Laporte. We'll be back with the fight after these messages. not been a good starter. Well, Wilfredo has, and uh, Wilfredo has, is not above whiling away the first round, but usually he puts enough thunder in his punches that the uh, referee interfering there as far as running. And Laporte delivering on Gomez. behind the other guy's head. Now he's complaining again about the head. Laporte is complaining about the head. And that was heavy punching by both men. Curiously enough, Laporte got the best of that punching. Laporte looks cut. There's blood over the left. Blood over the right eye of Juan Laporte, who's been complaining. Laporte complaining about the butting of Wilfredo Gomez, and sure enough, he's cut. Now recall that controversial foul, Phil foul that uh, Laporte had with Pedroza for the WBA title back in January of 82. And Laporte and his corner cannot be happy about the uh, developments here in the first round. Laporte wild with his punches, but he's putting everything behind those hooks. Gomez doing a workmanlike job on the eye already. Good right hand by Gomez. Gomez in control of this early round. Laporte too wild and too frantic. Too undisciplined. 
at this point for Wilfredo Gomez, who's fighting a calculated first round. Good right hand by Gomez. And Laporte not able to connect with the left, and now Gomez talking to Laporte. He's looking to land that right hand. There it goes. And this is round two. Referee making certain that the uh, Laporte corner was clear. They were slow to remove the stool. There was so much noise that they didn't hear the warning buzzer. Gomez seems to feel that he can put that right hand in there when he wants to, and he's been loading up waiting for it. the court, and now he just rubbed the glove in the face of Laporte. He's tough. He's bewildering. What he's trying to do is oh, upset oh, Juan Laporte, and he certainly does. Oh, a right oh, hand oh, by Gomez oh, as Laporte was being held. He's giving him a boxing lesson. He's putting his laces in there. He's hitting him with his elbow. Wilfredo oh, Gomez is doing a job on Juan Laporte right now. him, laughing at him, making him miss, and then coming back and attacking. <laughs> Good left time by Gomez. And here's Laporte back on the attack. Laporte is being hurt to the body by Gomez's punches. He's beginning to slow up. This is only the second round. The attack of Wilfredo Gomez is merciless. He's unremitting. Under a minute left. Round two. It has been a Wilfredo Gomez arsenal as Laporte came out swinging wild. Not able to connect, but Gomez has been right on target. If Laporte had a plan, it went out the window. He is just trying to land a hard hook if he can, and not having a good, good luck with it. Gomez playing with Laporte. Gomez showing him every trick in the book. What a lesson. Final seconds. Round two. Another decisive round for the one-time Super Bantamway champion, Wilfredo Gomez. And this is round three. Wilfredo Gomez was told in his corner by the referee, Octavio Meron, keep your punches up. There were some borderline blows thrown. The uh, first two rounds. There were. His body attack is devastating on Laporte. Laporte can't take that body attack. Also, Laporte's protector is way... Laporte's protector is way higher than it should be. It should be at the level of the umbilica. It's way above. Now that, that's he's going to get called for. That glove on top of Laporte's head is absolutely a no-no. And he doesn't need to do it. He's hitting him with ease. Now remember, Laporte gets strong in the later rounds. And these are all Gomez's rounds. They figure to be. So it could be. He's making a mistake to wait. But should he weather the storm for five rounds? Oh, boy. Yes, Laporte has made it clear that Gomez has all kinds of problems with stamina after the fifth round, and over the last year, he has not been getting the rounds. Only five rounds of boxing last year, while Laporte has been active, although he comes off a loss in an untitled bout, losing to Gerald Hayes, a club fighter that was in Atlantic City back in November. Well, 
Gomez is not punching with a great deal of authority right now. He's just sort of pity patting around. That was a good hook by Gomez. Uppercuts and hooks by Wilfredo Gomez. Getting in on Juan Laporte. Notice Gomez doesn't let up on the body. There's always one shot to the body following several to the head. He just won't. There it goes. He just won't let go on that body. There it goes again. Good hook by Laporte. And that hurt Gomez. He finally landed a tough hook. He finally landed a tough hook on Gomez. It looked like it stunned Gomez. That's what Laporte has been looking for. That one punch that will do it. 